My name is Tadeo Nishesh Kanda, technical agronomist at Yumson Complex. Today we are at Pepsi Farm here in Goromons, where we want to discuss about crop uh, residues. Most farmers here in Zimbabwe, you always burn after you've harvested your crop, you burn, you burn your crop residues. There are a lot of disadvantages that comes in from burning uh, of, of crop residues. This is the reason why most farmers are not getting the expected yield. For us to improve the soil yield, we need uh, to make sure that we are using the microbial biostimulants, which are safer to the environment, which actually add organic matter, which actually add carbon into the soil. So here, uh, as Humason Complex, we are now coming in, we are introducing um, these uh, new technologies through use of microorganisms, through use of biostimulants, that can actually assist in uh, decomposing and mineralizing the crop residues without burning. And also, the issue of cost. People, uh, most people here also use urea, which is uh, quite expensive to say. Uh, as you can see here, we are just about to apply uh, our two liter um, uh, application of Runex uh, per hectare on this 10 hectare block. Uh, but before we apply, the other things that you have to do after you have uh, after your crop, uh, you can actually disc uh, the crop residues, as you can see, that was done here. After that, we always recommend you to pre irrigate the land before you apply runex. After pre irrigate the land, you then apply your uh, uh, runex at rate of two liters per hectare. The amount of water uh, depends on how we are going to irrigate, whether they are using a center pivot, whether they are going to use a boom spray, whether they are going to use a nipsack spray. That uh, actually tells us how, how much water you use. But normally, the general recommendation is 400 liters of water in two liters of runex per hectare. Since we are talking of the microorganisms, remember, they will require soil moisture for them to survive. They require um, uh, that moisture that they can actually work and uh, mineralize and decompose the crop residues. As I mentioned before about Rinex, other than uh, making sure that it mineralizes and decomposes the crop residues, this product also contains microbial organisms, including trichoderma, that can actually assist in suppressing uh, soybean pathogens. I have seen farmers um, uh, having challenges, nematodes and whatsoever. This product, other than um, uh, adding, uh, mineralizing and decomposing the crop residues, it can also assist in reducing the crop residues that are in the soil.